plan for today is to head from my mooring in the catwater across Plymouth Sound up the River Tamar turn left into the liner and see how far we can get uh, before high water don't want to go any further than high water uh, because this will be all mud on a falling tide um, high water today is quarter past one so from now we've got about two hours 20 minutes weather for today there's a bit of sunshine the winds coming in from the east it's a bit gustier than I was expecting so uh, even though it's up a bit I'm gonna go with a full rig because as soon as I get to the River Tamar I think there's not gonna be much wind up there we shall wait and see looking at Rainhead weather so far this morning had a bit of an increase around about seven o'clock it's now hanging around 14 knots and the high wind speed is about 18. Just left my mooring and despite the fact I wanted to go head to wind and tack up uh, there wasn't enough to turn me straight away so I had to back off my mooring and learn how to steer in reverse without hitting anyone else. Luckily I managed to get away with it. Heading west on a dead run the wind doesn't feel as bad in this direction, obviously. So we'll keep full rig for now and see what happens when we get in the Tamar. Heading out of Catwater and despite the fact I'm fighting the tide and my centre plate's down and we're not on a dead run, we're still making four knots. So we've got about two and a quarter hours for high water. So we're going to try and get up the Tamar as quick as we can. So we've just entered a bit of a dead spot here. And my bottom speed has just dropped from 4 knots down to 1.2, 1.1. So I'm just hoping there's enough wind on my rig to get me into that gust there. Looking at the flag of truth on the Citadel, the uh, wind is coming from a southerly direction. And that is starting to agree with what I can see in my rigging. Now we've got past that uh, dead spot, we're now sailing on a reach and we were making five knots for that last little tiny bit and we're now at four and a half. So we should cross the sound pretty quickly. Uh, one shipping movement at uh, quarter past 12 coming down the river with assets and uh, cement barge leaving Catwater at uh, 12.30 which should not be a problem for me. Making a nice speed, just under five knots at the moment. Not sure how long that's gonna last when I get in the lee of Drake's Island, but we shall see. Currently making my way into the River Tamar proper, through the Narrows, past Devil Point on my starboard side. And for some bizarre reason, the bottom speed has dropped to four knots. I thought it would be going a lot quicker than that with the tide and the wind. So on the left is Cornwall and the Kremel ferry is looking to leave. And on my right is Royal William Yard in Devon. I'm going to keep heading in this direction on a dead run so that I get myself to the other side of the river where hopefully 
I'll be able to catch a bit of wind that's coming down the river over the mud flats. Plan has worked well. I'm currently making five knots or just around five knots up the river Tamar. Coming past Mutton Cove on the right where there's a couple of outdoor swimming pools. Well, there's at least one, I know that. Just going past Mutton Cove and there's the original King William dry dock, I believe. I will check my facts before I make the video and post over the top. Obviously there's quite a bit of tide at the moment. My echo sound is telling me 13 and a half meters and the charts telling me eight and a half. Unfortunately, I may have come into a dead air area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overshoot the corner rather than hug it because at the moment on the end of that the camber pier there is a dirty great big roll on container vessel and it's being patrolled by the floating furs I'm being followed by a dirt grabbing yacht. I think he has also seen, just seen the floating fuzz because he's now going around me rather than between me and the floating storage container. Just coming up to the Tamar car ferries. The wind's starting to get a bit squirrely. I shall aim for the Cornish side because it looks like the assets for the 1215 military departure are starting to congregate on the starboard side and that might be what the floating fuzz are for. So there's currently one ferry heading to the Devon side and one heading to the Cornish side. If I head to the Cornish tour point side of the river, I should be able to avoid all of it. My only concern is the yacht that's currently on my port quarter. Looks like he might be trying to do the same. Oh, it's getting a bit congested in here now. I've just had two car ferries cross, but they're clear. And I've now got a um, grockle barge heading straight towards me. I've got the um, yacht that's on my port quarter and it looks like a uh, RIB might be doing coming alongside practice on the grockle barge which means that the grockle barge can't actually move as I've said on numerous occasions being in a hawk sat down it's quite easy when it comes to jiving because it should all go over your head that's what we wanted. Currently going up the Hamos at uh, four and a half knots. And if we look at my paper chart, we're just coming up through here. So we're just opposite number five and number four and number three basin. So that's all naval dockyard on the starboard side. Even though we're in a fairly large part of the river and obviously the Tamar is still trying to get rid of water, you can see the water's pushing up against the marks. This is where we're going to turn left. Moving. 
over to the right in the distance you can see the the Tamar Road and Rail Bridges and we're turning left to go into the river liner have to use the echo sounder quite a bit but we will try and cut over as many mud flats as possible to get us up as high as possible it's approximately one hour to high water which is a little later than I was intending to get here oh well we shall have to see how it goes the, the weather is hazy there's a bit of wind we're currently making about 4.9 knots something like that um, so it's not too bright I don't like it too bright I've just come past one of the port channel markers and the wind is very squirrely in here my bottom speeds dropped to less than two and a half knots and the wind is unsure about where it's coming from again probably another wind adjustment for coming over different headlands and stuff like that again we're going to try and cut the corner we can see the yacht ahead has actually got quite a bit of sail and they're leaning over so hopefully we're going to get that in a minute i'll be able to tighten up the sails and speed up looks like i might actually have to pay attention today well that's always the case when you're trying to uh, crawl up creeks with shallows and changes in the wind the wind has readjusted itself and uh, pull the sails in a bit which is a bit hard to do with one hand because I still have to steer here we go bottom speed has just now shot up to six knots echo sound is telling me eight meters this is the navy's moored up training vessel i assume that they use it to teach things like how to operate on a bridge and how to operate radars and things like that before they go off to the bigger vessels where it matters more absolutely dead my bottom speed has dropped to 1.2 1.3 again off to the port side dead as a door now up ahead there's a little bit of wind and I just happened to drift into it echo sound is telling me three and a half and it's getting shallower so I think it's probably about time I put a tack in successful tack water's getting deeper it started to mist over a bit it looks like there's plenty of wind in this river it just not going in the direction that I want it to go in echo sound is telling me 4.3 knots what is up with me today 4.3 meters Echo sound is telling me 4.3 meters and not as I keep trying to say knots as we can see from the chart the Deeper water channel is not that large So at the moment my echo sound is telling me two and a half and I really should put another tack in so here we go had a little bit of a wobble there because the um, starboard jib sheet got 
caught around the uh, jamming cleats which bring down the sails. Let's see how far we can go in this direction. Obviously I'm keeping an eye on the echo sounder. It's now increasing again. So it's now up to 3.2. And the wind's died again. And if we look further up the river on the starboard side we can see there's a bit of mist which is never a good thing in a narrow confined space because it also means there's very little wind or probably means there's very little wind and indeed if we look at the rain head um, weather monitor we can see that the wind speed has indeed dropped and if I'm looking at this correctly quite dramatically unfortunately I think that's the end of my trip up the liner because the wind has dropped to politely say naff all uh, my bottom speed which I believe is just due to drifting is at just over one knot so I think as it's only just over half an hour to high water I'm never going to make it uh, anywhere near where I was hoping to so as I don't really want to start the engine unnecessarily uh, I'll be heading back out unless the wind picks up in the next couple of minutes the mist that's coming down the liner at the moment is just getting thicker and thicker so it's not looking good so even if the wind does increase i think i might as well just head back out which is a bit of a bummer